We interviewed Dr. X from Server 14 and Sun Tzu 88 from Server 19. The two strongest alliance leaders of top servers have a lot of ideas about the current game. Let's take a look at their synopsis of interview. The first question is whether the glory server rules restrict these two servers. The two or 5s think that glory server is very limited. While the two top servers get 10 to 30 people applying each month, only one of them can ultimately be chosen. Many players want to switch the server with their friends, and the monthly transfer quota limit discourages them from this idea, which has had a huge impact on glory server staff reserves. At the same time, non-top alliances within the server are also restricted from development, so they can only choose to leave glory server together. In terms of the game itself, though, this would be a good way to spread players out to other servers, which would be a good benefit to the ecological cycle of the game. The most important thing is that there are no detailed rules about glory server in the game. There are only three glory servers in the game at the moment, which they feel is a very unfair thing to do. In fact, many servers have caught up later and then have not been restricted by conversion. They also need to further improve the rules of glory server to make him more transparent. For example, the top 8 servers can become glory servers so that the 9th ranked server can be surpassed so that a gradual balance is achieved. The second question is about the 14th and 19th servers originally always played the same round together, so why did they participate in the theater of conquest separately? This is to prepare for the first Paramount Cup. Because it's a 4 vs 4 model, everyone wants to be on the side of the majority, so in order to ensure that our allies get enough points, 14 server and 19 server chose to run the theater of conquest separately, so it's convenient for our allies to get more points. So, what are your thoughts on the tournament format? The Paramount Cup is a very good idea. Currently, all verbal attacks revolve around the Paramount Cup, but due to the point design, there is also some irrationality. The league also has a lot of room for maneuver. For example, the imbalance between the two games makes it easier for some leagues to get points, and at the same time, they can snipe their opponent's allies into the Paramount Cup when they have obtained enough points themselves. Everyone is playing games that split alliances and jump times, so this will affect the actual battle itself. In many cases, we discuss the points before we play, which leads to the outcome of the game being all arranged, then the process becomes very boring and the whole game becomes very unrealistic. However, the league that participated in the first round would play one less game of the Conqueror's League than the second round, which would lead to an imbalance in access to materials. This is also an unfair detail. Finally, what are your thoughts on the 10.0 release? We've talked to many players, including Whale. Everyone believes not to release it so quickly, or at least not until the third anniversary. At this stage, regular players may only have 1 to 2 9.2 units, and now there are updates to mechanic technology. This will further widen the gap between normal and whale, causing ordinary players to lose confidence in the game. If it is really strengthened, it can enhance the base's defense capabilities or diversify the base's defenses rather than simply increasing the strength of military cards.